What is going on, guys? Wiser here. I'm coming to you live from the 2.0 Cold September matchup. We're five hours into this war. It is 28 to 19 for Cold September, 15 attacks used, 12 attacks used for 2.0. So maybe a slight edge, definitely, to, to CS at this point, but you obviously never know only five hours into a war. So <clears throat> just kind of scroll through what's happened so far. You know, a couple three stars in. Definitely some two stars on some tens. 2.0 is a couple three stars, three three stars there on the nines. So one thing I really want to actually uh, focus on with this little video that I'm doing is that the fair play community is just awesome. And what, what, what they have done to bring this game to a different level is just amazing. And, uh, one of the things that I, I see that makes it amazing is that in this war, I believe there's four or five guys from Invicta in this war going up against 2.0. Invicta has an arranged war that is going live tomorrow against WHF2 where we're boring Cold September guys. We got other guys from other places coming in to fill war weights, right? It's just such an awesome community that can have a pool like that that really in the end doesn't necessarily care about the fame and glory they just really want to have fair great fun com and competition so you know beer me and death from smiley dirty italian and zerds are all one hive and victim members and they're over there to help cs fill some weight and they cs did the same thing for us and seeing stuff like that is just awesome you know i, I quite often watch shag streams and and see the things that he talks about from the from the cs side and the, his side of the fair play community and it, it's true it's absolutely true you know you talk about how we're all family and that is just such an awesome thing and i really hope really really can't express how much i hope supercell addresses this for us uh because really we're the people that are going to keep the longevity of this game so obviously the the the, the amount of planning behind these arranged matchups and weight balancing is insane not to mention with town hall 11 coming up it's going to be even more insane so they just need to make it easier on us to make this happen as a fair play community so we war who we choose to anyhow that's about all i'll say on it obviously some huge news today with uh with supercell and uh, clash con so good for them town hall 11 is obviously coming I'm not a huge fan of it because I really just got to start enjoying Town Hall 9 myself. However, it is what it is in the game evolves, so we're we already have plans, you know, as a clan to progress with that and and you know embrace it. That's and that's really what we got to do here. So uh, my plan here with this video from here on in is to hopefully steal you guys some sneak attacks here. Um, haven't had an opportunity to see really many plans getting thrown around in line. I had a super busy day myself, but it's nice because Invicta is in prep for the WHF2 war, which goes live tomorrow. Uh, so this gives me an opportunity to really kind of surprise some of these 2.0 guys with some sneak attacks. So I will be back with the very next live attack. All right, guys, we are in with a live attack. This is Sean16 taking on 15. So he has gone and just sh uh, shattered, I believe, here. Queen's backing everything up, taking out this section of the base. He's got 30 hogs in the bag, two heals, a rage, and a poison left. CC troops come out, so that poison's going to go down. Ooh, there's a P.E.K.K.A. in there. Hopefully it locks on to the golems and not his queen, because that would be unfortunate. Uh, it is going right to his queen. Hopefully that... Oh, the P.E.K.K.A. takes out the queen. That could be trouble. King rages it up. Finishes off the CC troops. Uh, the defensive queen is taken care of though, so that that's fortunate. CC troops are down, so he's still okay. He's got 30 hogs and heals, so uh, the king is about to go down to those Teslas. That kill squad is pretty much done for, but he's got 30 hogs coming in from the 7 seven thirty side. Heal's going to go down. Boom, there it is. Moving through here think he might have enough hogs if he can get through this Tesla hell which he should get should heal heal goes down Tesla's go down hopefully his pogs don't pit her out here he's got some reinforcing they trigger a bomb but they jump right into the heel so that's good he's got quite a few hogs left this is looking okay all the bombs are triggered I believe 
at least the ones that he can uh, path over. So he's got a bunch of hogs for cleanup, a couple whiz down here. This might be okay. He's got over a minute left. Hogs need to do some work though. As long as they get every building along this ring, nice. A couple go to the core. That should help too. I think he might have this. He's got a decent split, but this king could pose problems for these wizards. That's the only thing I'm worried about. But I think he's good. 45 seconds to go. A few hogs that CC all these high HP storages they're going to start working on. So as long as the wizards, yeah, the town hall is going down, I think he's good. 30 seconds to go. A few more buildings that King's going to come over, start doing work on those hogs. They're going to take it down. I, I don't know. This could be tr could be trouble here. That King could defend. This could be trouble. One second. Oh, he got hit with one second. I had no idea what was going to happen there. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe that. That was ridiculous, Sean. <laughs> wow. Oh, what a great sneak attack. Hilarious. <laughs> Apparently, I can't type. Oh, let me write that. Microphone activated. Oh, my Jesus. That was insane. That was insane. On, at the buzzer, that was a total buzzer beater. Well, all right, we will be back for the next attack. I don't know if we're going to be able to top that action, though. Great attack, Sean. <clears throat> all right, we got our next lap attack. Kev is in. He did a little bit of a drag swap. I was a little bit late on this one. But drag swap the queen looked like it went really well, and he brings his kill squad in shattered from the uh, 4 o'clock position here, so... Uh, heroes are down only a level 13 king and 15 queen so uh, really interesting here <clears throat> how this is going to play out the cc troops are almost down last balloon down any second the queen kind of goes for a walk hopefully that wizard finishes off that balloon should in a second yeah there it goes things are looking pretty decent from this point he's taking out a big section of the base uh, he hasn't triggered any bombs yet. That would be the only concern at this point. But there goes this first one. It was only two hogs he loses. Uh, Queen is still kind of doing work on the back end. She's already used her ability about to go down. The king's going to stand there and beat on this wall, though, and end up taking that trash. So that's kind of good as long as this hog's going to survive. He's got a heal, which is about to go down. About to go down. There it is. <laughs> oh, the hogs take a jump up. That's fine. Last couple defenses is actually looking pretty good. A minute 16 to go. He's got his king up, a couple cleanup wizards. I think this is a three bag for sure. Archer tower and mortar, last two defenses. All right, it is clean up from this point. King is taking out the high defense or high HP CC, which is great. Hogs are just gonna ring themselves around this base. Wizards are gonna take out these buildings. I think it's GG. 50 seconds to go. Good job, Kev. Just takes out a few more uh, def uh, trash structures here. King finally gets through the wall down there. 28 seconds. I think he's you think he's looking good he's got to have this for sure this would be my only concern is this little thing but these will only take one hit from this wizard once it's in this compartment 17 seconds he's definitely got this kev grade three star Awesome job, Kev. Good job, fearless leader. 
All right, we are live now. I'm sitting here with Cheetos. We're just watching in on the. Uh, I think Cheetos watching the stream, eh? Yep. yep. Beautiful. Uh, Sparta is live versus uh, number twenty Raven. So he is just going in shattered here. Two golems. Oh, there's the third golem behind from the CC. He's got 21 hogs, two heals, uh, rage, jump goes down, and a poison. Here come the CC troops, so poison goes down. Uh, I don't think he's dropped his king yet. No, nope. still has the king in the bag. Good patience on that. There he is. King's going to move in, end up taking the jump now that the CC is dead. I'm just going to get stalled up on this king a little bit here. He's really got to get into this next compartment so he can lock onto that queen. But the king still has his ability and rage so yeah he's locking on to the queen rages it up defensive queen goes down he took out a big section of the base 40 percent of the base is dead and he's full, just jump. yeah absolutely floods in here he's got two heels so heels gonna go down probably just above this section that he's at right now nice patience on the heel too Still, there it is. There's yeah, the first the heal. Yeah, big. The, and, and there's the bomb. Doesn't matter. These are going to path. He's going to heal probably over those whiz towers. Uh, Queen raises it up. She's going to take out a big chunk of these defenses herself. Heal goes down. Still has so many hogs left. This looks like a three for sure. I think he's got a single left in there. Yeah. Here it is. Or two singles. But it oh, is clean up. Great attack. Sparta's a monster. I miss him from Invicta, that's for sure, but he definitely deserves to be in 2.0, that's for sure. Just a monster. Probably could have swayed that last heal. Probably. His queen was in there doing work. Last couple buildings. Sparta, good job. We'll be back with the next live attack. All right, guys. We are in our next live attack. 21. Malfunction going in against number 12, Dan. So he has brought two golems here. Two rages. Uh, looks like, or is that a third rage? Yeah, he brought three rages here. Poison down on the CC troops. Queen and King making their way in. Queen's going to make short work of these CC troops. King's going to make short work of his defensive queen. A few smacks. There's his rage. Things looking pretty decent at this point. He's obviously brought three uh, Lava Hounds and 16 Balloons. So he wants this air defense. And I believe he's already got the other one. Yes. So he's going in on the top 12 o'clock air defense with two Lava Hounds. He's just going to sprinkle his loons in two at a time on each defense on the outer, uh, outer edges there. Drops a haste. He wants to take that uh, stupid air sweeper down very, very quickly and get to that air defense. Air defense is down. Drops the other lava hound on the uh, nine o'clock air defense. Things are looking great at this point. He really wants one of more of these lava hounds to bust, though. That's for sure. I think it will because these Teslas are locked onto it. Uh, it's kind of tough to say, but any second I think it's going to bust. Might have wanted to hold off on that rage a little bit. Yeah, it did not bust. So that might be a problem. But he has a ton of loons. I don't think it's a problem. And the hound should bust right here. Nice. Both hounds might bust. Yeah, there comes a... Uh, no. One on one of the pups. But it busts again. Perfect timing. Mal. This is looking good. He's got cleanup all up the top. He's got a wizard still alive up there. Uh, this, it can say, is... Definitely going to be a three-star attack. Good job, Mal. A lot of storages down here. I don't think it matters. He's got pups pretty much all over the map. That wizard's going to take over this whole section in the next 45 seconds. So, no question. Mal, you just shredded this base. Glad I could catch this on a live attack. Just a few more buildings. All the pups are joining up now. Got more that are finished with the king. Just crushed it. Great attack, Mal. Got 
God, I suck at typing. Dang, I don't have fingers. Nice work, Mal. Okay, we are in for one more live attack. <clears throat> this is Salty taking on Dirty Italian. A little one hive on one hive action. Uh, DI had a nice three star earlier in the war, so definitely I think we're looking for a little bit of payback from the 2.0 side on this base. Opens up the wall. He's got a shattered entry going there at that queen. Gets his king in behind. Everything's moving into this archer queen chamber. Drops the rage. As soon as this town hall goes down, the king's going to move in. Smack the crap out of those heroes. Although a wizard pretty much took the queen out by himself. King, queen, still full health. He's still got a golem on pop there. Doing a little bit of work. He's got 29, 30 hogs on the back end here with three heals. So he just needs to take care of the CC troops. Poison goes down. His loons are going to fly right into it. Queen is in good position. Hopefully she doesn't go for a walk after this structure goes down. Perfect. Steps up. She's going to take out those balloons. And then he's going to start his hogs. So CC is dead. He's got a golem up there tanking still. He's going to send in his hogs. He's got four, three, four. Just kind of sprinkling in around. He's going to start getting this kind of clockwise motion going around the base. Takes out a bomb with this queen there. That is excellent news. Queen is still kind of doing some work. She's going to take down a couple more of these defenses and help these hogs out. Uh, oh, he needs to heal. Just a second too late on that heal. That whiz tower did serious work, but he's still got a lot of hogs. I think he's okay here. He doesn't have very many defensive structures left. The rest of them going down on this cannon. There's another bomb, but they're standing in the heal, and he's got one more heal for this Tesla hell. Might be okay. Uh... Hopefully he's got enough. His queen is down, but he's got a lot of cleanup wizards on the outside. As long as these hogs can take care of these, this last Tesla and Archer Tower. I think he's looking okay. King is still up doing a little bit of work. He's got cleanup going. Hogs are now on cleanup as well. Salty, very nice hit. Just a little late on that little heal right there, and it would have saved a, saved a lot on the cleanup, but I don't think it matters anyways. So... Hopefully, uh, you know, he's got 48 seconds left. Quite a few high hit point structures. This might be down to the wire, this attack. Hogs oh, getting on this gold storage. That's good news. These wizards are tag team in these storages. I'm a little worried about this dark elixir storage if the wizards decide to path up to that. But they should take care of it. Uh, the clan castle also might be a bit of an issue. He's only got 30 seconds now. King is already working on that wall to get into that DE storage. I think he might be okay. Again, this one's going to be down to the wire. It's the clan castle that's going to be the problem. 15 seconds. Might be a problem. Oh, 8 seconds. Yeah, time's going to be a problem. He's not going to get that clan castle. Wow, 99% on DI. Very nice try, Salty. That, that is a tough one, man. Ah. Oh. Oh, salty. All right, salty. Very nice try. That was a really tough one. If your queen had managed to stay up in the in the middle there, that definitely was a three star. Okay, well, that should do it for uh, this little episode I made of sneak attacks. Uh, obviously, we're only going to see improvements from here as I learn to kind of commentate on the fly. Ooh, I missed a live for Dingus. Uh, cold September uh, has a bit of work to do. They're 11, uh, 11 stars behind. So I guess we shall see in the recap what happens. i uh, glad I could bring a few of these live three stars for you guys. They really went, when I uh, sat down to record last night, they really went on a bit of a, a three-star train so definitely glad I got a few of those for you gonna have a lot more really nice attacks in the recap so uh, until then guys I am out <laughs>